like any negative emotions towards it or positive. It's just it is what it is. Okay. Um, I'm going to like push you with my next question then. Would you say overall that the role of student loans in your life has been mostly positive or mostly negative? Uh, maybe negative up until this point. So when I was graduating, it was something that I thought about just like a little bit because I didn't have a job right after graduation. And so I was stressed and like, okay, what if I land a job that doesn't make enough money? I feel like I'm going to be stressed out. Um, But now since I have that, um, it's kind of comforting knowing like I'm going to be okay. And that I don't have to worry that much. Yeah. Yay. That's awesome. Um, Do you think that you could have gotten your degree without loans? No, absolutely not. Okay. Yeah, you already said that. Okay. Um, so do you think it's worth it to take out loans to go to college? I think it is, yeah, depending on what you want to be. So I mentioned this in the beginning that pre-med was something that I had in the back of my mind. So to do certain jobs, like you definitely do need a degree. And for some people, like the only way you can afford college is through your loans. So in that sense, I do think it's worth it. For sure. Okay. All right. We are done talking about loans for now, um, but we've still got a couple more sections. Um, so this section is about relationships. Are you in a romantic relationship right now? No. Okay. Um, and would you say that your dating or romantic life has been affected by the pandemic at all? Um... So, in the beginning of the pandemic, it was not something that I was seeking, just because you don't know what someone's doing on their free time, if they're being responsible and taking the pandemic seriously, or if, I think at that point, no, yeah, at that point, there was no vaccine, so you were just kind of, like, trusting other people to do their own part, um, so it's definitely not something that I was thinking about, um, And then I'd say within the last year, it was my senior year in college, so I just wanted to focus on school and just getting my life together. Mm -hmm. So overall, no. Okay. Um, All right. And um, do you have any children now? No, I do not. Um, Do you think that someday you might have children? Um, it's something that I go back and forth about. Um, as of right now, I don't think about kids. Okay. Or think about even having that in the near future. Okay. Um, what about the not near future? What about like 10 years from now? What do you think at this point? I think it's hard to say. It's like a combination of a lot of different things. Like, I don't know the state of the earth by that time. And if I would even want to bring life into this planet um, under those conditions. Okay. So. Has that particular thought, has that been affected by the pandemic? Or have you, like, is it other factors that you're talking about? Um, no, it wasn't, not affected by the pandemic, but just like, um, I'd say like, just like in terms of climate change, like, I don't know, like I, I read different things every day. I read about like X amount of years from now, we won't be able to step outside without different masks and stuff like that. So I think about them in that way where I wouldn't want to expose them to that and just like financially too like keeping up um with the costs I feel like I don't even want to stress about that okay okay it's it's also like personality wise too it's not like a burning desire of mine sure okay um yeah 
Um, okay. So this next section is about social relationships. So who would you say that you feel close to in your life? I'd say my brother and probably my one cousin. Okay. Closest to them. okay. Um, so can you give me an example of a time that like you've had a bad day or you've wanted to talk to someone about something, um, and who you went to and what it was about? Oh, um, I actually don't have anybody that I feel like I talk to in that sense. I kind of, um, unfortunately keep it to myself mm. and just kind of like shut down for the whole day and just like sit with my feelings and thoughts and just I don't like to worry um the people around me so I just keep a lot of that to myself Mm, okay um and is that helpful for you like is that exactly what you need when you have a tough time to like just shut down for a while or do you think that you would feel better if you could talk to someone um I think it works sometimes um, but most of the time I think I had, I wish I had someone that I could just talk to freely like that without feeling like I'm burdening them. So I definitely do want to seek out a therapist for mm-hmm. those reasons. Okay. Um, is that something that you've started looking into at this point or is that like a future plan? Future plans, but I've browsed here and there different, um, therapists around the area. Okay. Um, so who comes, does anyone come to you in that capacity that you feel like you can't go to other people, um, with like emotional troubles or like when you're stressed and need to vent, um, do other people come to you though? Yeah. I think a lot of people do come to me. Um, yeah, I have a number of people that come to me for those reasons. Okay, and does that include your brother and your cousin, or are there other people that come to you? Other people, um, my cousin, and then my brother sometimes. I think my brother and me are alike in that way. Mm, Okay, that makes sense. Siblings tend to (laughs) have those same styles. Um, And then how about friends? Do you have other friends that come to you with those sorts of, like, for emotional support? No. Okay. Um, mostly just different family members. Okay. Um, and if you need information about something, who in your life are you likely to go to? Um, it depends what, like, what it relates to. Um, if I need, like, advice, probably my dad. Um, or if I'm sharing something that's going on in my life um, that I feel comfortable sharing, it'd probably be like my cousin, just because we're close in age and she can kind of relate. Okay. Um, so can you think of a time when you've needed information about something and like what it was and who you went to? Um, I think, so my dad had experience in having a business so I think I I was interested in that um and I just went to him to ask for the steps and um just different questions relating to that and he helped me out a little bit okay um and if you need to borrow money from someone, who are you most likely to go to first? Uh, my dad. Okay. Um, and can what's, like, the most recent example of a time that that's happened? Uh, like, 40 bucks I asked him for um, last week just for, like, gas and um, tolls because I had a go to in-person interviews. Ah, okay. Um, and does anyone come to you to borrow money? No, not at this point. Okay. <laughs> not at this point. I'm not working. When you were working uh, either at Home Depot or uh, Amazon, like, 
did anyone come to you to borrow money when you had more? 